kids, it's Teacher Teacher here. Let's talk silly science. Today, boys and girls, we're going to talk about the moon. Yes, absolutely. That big bright thing that shines way up in the sky when it's nighttime. Mm-hmm. That's right. So what shines in the daytime? The sun. You're very, very right. So did you know that in space where the moon hangs out? Yes. There are, uh, it's very, very cold and it's very, very dark. So therefore, an, uh, um, astronauts have to wear their space suits and their space helmets. And did you also know that they sort of float around up in space? Uh-huh. Oh, did you also know that Neil Armstrong was the very first astronaut who set foot on the moon? Mm-hmm. Way back a long time ago, the USA's NASA Apollo 11 mission in 1969 was the first manned moon landing. That's right. I want you to also know that the moon orbits around the sun. It does. It orbits around the sun in about 28 days, 27, 28 days. And that's almost a whole month for the moon to go all the way through its phases. So there are phases of the moon. Now, I'm just going to show you a few phases of the moon, but there's other phases too that you can learn about. But these are probably the phases we see and we recognize the most when we're looking up at the moon. I have here, when the moon is just dark and really, really dark and the sky is dark and it looks like there's no moon up there, then that's the new moon. That's the phase that's just starting a whole new moon. Then you have a crescent moon and that's when that See how the sun starts coming and the shadows start moving away? Then there's a crescent, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a half moon. Mm -hmm. And you see it's that shadow keeps going away and there's more light. And then you have the full moon where it's a big bright moon that follows you along everywhere. Absolutely. Now, I want you to do something for me. Parents, you might want to go to our PBS Learning Media website and find out more information, more activities, more worksheets, all about the moon. These worksheets are wonderful, I'm telling you. But if you go there and just search and put in that search about the moon, you're going to find some wonderful stuff there, okay? I also want you to just play a little game with your kids, just to make them identify what kind of activities happen during the daytime and during the nighttime when the moon is out. Like you can come up with 10 questions. Like one of the questions could be, when do you go to sleep? Mm, that could be a trick question because some people may sleep in the day. Others might sleep at night according to when you have to work. When do you go to school? Normally, we would go to school during the day, right? Mm-hmm. So this is just a simple activity. You can do this on just a piece of paper. You can color the sun or color the moon, or you can print them out on your computer and just play that game with your kids so they identify when the sun is out and when the moon is out. So remember this great big universe we, li we live in and remember the phases of the moon. So until next time, Teacher Teacher says bye-bye.